In this video, I'm going to show you how to install PowerShell Universal as a service on Windows using our MSI installer. So to get the MSI installer for PowerShell Universal, you're going to go to ironmansoftware.com. You can click Downloads and then PowerShell Universal. From here, you'll see we have a list of um, the different versions of PowerShell Universal. Uh, obviously, when you look at this, it'll probably be different versions, but you're just going to want to select the MSI installer. So um, you can see here it's downloading the 2.10.2 uh, MSI installer. So once this is complete, what I can do is I can just open that MSI and it's going to launch our installation wizard. Click next, accept the terms and click next again. It's asking where to install the, um, the, uh, the application files for this particular um, platform. So by default, we install to C program files x86 uh, slash universal, but you could change this if you have like a data directory or something like that. So I will just click next and it's going to now start installing PowerShell universal. So once this is installed, by default, it will be listening on port 5000 and running as a Windows service. So um, that's what it's going to tell you right there. And to access PowerShell Universal, you can just go to localhost 5000, and you should see a page such as this one. So this is the default login page for PowerShell Universal. And I'm going to type in admin slash any password. So um, you just need to make sure you type in admin, and then we have a default password of any password. So once you log in, um, you'll see um, and a view similar to this. You can see mine's partially configured um, from a previous installation. Um, but this is our home page. You have access to the APIs, uh, automation scripts, uh, user interfaces, platform um, settings, general settings, and security settings all on the left side. If you were to open a um, services window here, what you'll see is PowerShell Universal is running as a service here. So um, then you could go ahead and manage your PowerShell Universal service if you wanted to, set it to a service account, um, you know, set it to automatically or delayed start, that kind of thing. So in this video, we went uh, over the basics of installing PowerShell Universal as a Windows service.